everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to the 10th episode of my Terraria Hardcore playthrough. Once again guys, we're still alive. We've taken down all of the mech bosses. We've taken down Plantera. We have now taken down Gollum. And as you can see, as a result, we have ourselves the Gollum Fist, which I would very much like to get something like that on actually. 104 melee damage is just ridiculous guys by every stretch of the imagination now as i mentioned in the last episode in today's episode i would like to upgrade to beetle armor and then hopefully take down or try to survive against anyway the solar eclipse it would be nice of course to get myself some cool things maybe the eye of cthulhu yo-yo the nail gun the death sickle all of those things i think would be very very good against the next boss the next boss of course i think is going to be duke fishrod so yes now for those of you guys who don't know i almost always have trouble with duke fishrod so i don't know Although, then again, I always have trouble with him on expert mode, but actually I'm not entirely sure about normal mode. I can't remember the last time I took down Duke Fish on normal mode. It was a long time ago, my friends. A long time ago, indeed. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to have to find that out at some point. But in the meantime, I am going to head back up here. Oh, the Golem Fist. Dude, I imagine this weapon is going to absolutely trounce everybody. Look at this. This is wrecking people up. It's amazing. But guys, once again, thank you so much for the support you have been showing for the series. It really is very much appreciated, guys. And of course, if you are still enjoying the series and uh, everything about it, then just leave a like rating, my friends. It's the best way to let me know if you are still enjoying it. But uh, yeah, I am going to... Oh, it's over the right-hand side. Of course it is. So, uh, we just need to head over this way. And then we just need to sort of follow this bad boy up. We just got to go over the top here. Okay. <laughs> Get wrecked, man. They're just getting freaking destroyed, bro. They ain't even trying. One, 105 damage. Oh, my word. Absolutely crazy. Oh, I didn't even pick up some of these chests. Well, I'm a dumb, dumb doofus brain, huh? Okay, fantastic. Right. It would be cool to get a, a, a pickaxe. No, not a pick, a pick saw. Pick saw, that's what I was all about. Yes. It would be nice to get a pick saw, but, you know, it's not absolutely essential. It would just be nice to, you know, get through this place a little bit easier just by digging my way through, you know. It would be awesome, but it is not essential. Uh, getting the sunstone would be a nice idea as well. Because, obviously, you know, I can make the celestial stone eventually. Like, I need the moon charm. I need the... Oh, I need the sunstone. Moonstone. Moon charm. What was the last one? I can't remember. Huh. Anyways, I digress. The time has come, my friends. Is this... Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a ruby. <laughs> well, there's me thinking it's something freaking terrible. It is actually not. Anyways, uh, we are going to make a platform... Rather like this. There we go. Uh, everybody down here is basically going to die. Hello. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Get on my level. Right. Boom. There we go, my friends. Let's see what we can do here. Um. Yeah. <laughs> just wrecking shop. Awesome stuff. Right. Okay. We just need to try and take down his like main body, and then we'll be okay, right? We do have 430 health to our name, of course, which is very nice indeed. It's not 500 by any stretch of the imagination, but it's still a good amount, folks. It is still a good amount. I will give myself that. Uh, yeah, this guy is basically stuck, and he sucks, basically. <laughs> Look at this guy. All right, any second now, his fist is going to be demolished. Demolished fist! There you go, buddy. You're freaking dead. I'm going to get rid of the mini-map so you guys can actually see what's going on. All right, the talking of seeing what's going on, his health is at about 7,000 for his first form. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad. I'm tempted when it comes to second phase to just go ahead and tank him, maybe, if I can. That is, I don't know. He seems to be doing a decent amount of damage to me. Huh. Okay, how about a little bit of health potion? That would be great, wouldn't it? There we go. And 1,000 health is the amount he has. Oh, he's turned into a machine gun. Oh, my... Can you, like, not kill me? If I die, then that's the end of the series. I really need to remember that. Like, when I'm going around being an idiot, I need to remember that this series could end at any time. And, well, I would very much prefer it if it didn't. 
because, you know, I feel like I've done really, really freaking well in this one. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, I'm just going to stay here and just kick his ass. There we go. Sunstone! Brilliant! Beetle husks, four of them. I can't remember how many beetle husks in total it is to make the full set of beetle armor. But uh, at the very least, we do have three more lizard power cells, okay? So, I am just going to go ahead and get back into it. Although, I might go ahead and move the campfire a little bit closer. So, maybe here. Yeah, sweet. Alright, time for number two. Get wrecked, number two. What are you going to have? Another sunstone. A second sunstone, really. <laughs> what time is it right now? It's nearly daytime, so it may be worth me going ahead and chucking this on, perhaps? Uh, releases bees and increases movement speed when damaged. It might be worth putting this on, because when it becomes 4.30am, uh, officially daytime, then I'm going to be getting increased stats with this. So more more defense, more damage, and more crit chance, I do believe. Uh, although, you know, I could be wrong. But uh, anyways, time for number three. And Golem 3 is dead. And it's another Golem Fist. Huh, okay. I mean, we got a load of Beetle Husk, which is awesome. And yep, it has now become daytime. So, as a bit of an experiment, we have 70 defense now. This does 104 damage, 25% crit chance. If I put this on... This now does 29% crit chance, 111 damage, and I have 74 defense. So it's an increase of 4 defense. Very, very nice. All right, well then, time for the final golem. Here's hoping, guys. Here's hoping we can get something good. And here we go, my friends. Time to finish this guy off like we do. The golem fist is so good. It really is. What's that? A stinger. Okay, oh, we got a golem trophy as well. Hey, man, I'm going to take that. I'm going to roll with it. I am not salty at all about the drops that we got. It would have been nice, like I said, to get the pixel, but I am actually not that fussed about not getting it. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah, things are looking good. The only thing is we can't, you know, pick it up. So, you know, we'll have to fight him down there if we want to again. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the fact that we got ourselves a sunstone. I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. And I've just realized that uh, two of the percent of the crit chance comes from the accessory itself, like the prefix, so yeah, just a little thing to mention, but uh, I think I would like to reforge this, 12 gold, that's a fair amount isn't it, hard violent, fleeting, quick no, no, no no no, eh that'll do, why not, 77 defense, <laughs> not bad we have pretty much just wiped out all of our money though can't say I'm entirely happy with that, but, uh, you know, what can you do? What can you do? That is the question, isn't it? What can you do? I'll tell you what I can do. I can go ahead and upgrade all of my armor to freaking beetle armor. The question is, do we go for offensive or defensive? Defensive gives 12 more defense. Offensive gives more melee damage. Hmm. And increased movement speed as well. I don't know, man. So let's have a look. Increase movement speed anyway from that. Enemies are more likely to target you. But then even then, the helmet does that anyway. So that's confusing a little bit. You know what? For the sake of staying alive, I think I'm going to go for the defensive beta llama. So we are going from however much defense we had before to 85. Very nice. Very nice by every stretch of the imagination. I'm actually very, very happy about that. That's a, that's a hell of an increase, isn't it? 85 defense. I bet with the right setup, I could get well over 100 defense, you know. That is that is mind-boggling, though, isn't it? That's that's a hell of a lot of defense. <laughs> Sweet! Okay, so it is daytime. I mean, it's near the beginning of daytime, isn't it? I could maybe go ahead and give the solar eclipse a go. That's oh, solid. We're doing it. We're doing it! We are hashtag doing it. Okay, here we go. Hello. Yeah, my golem fist is gonna wreck all of you guys, son! What you gonna do? Dude is gonna destroy you. This golem fist is going to destroy you. Oh, please do enjoy. Please do enjoy. Eight damage. He did eight damage, guys. That is hilarious. That is so cute of you to think you could try and kill me. LOL. Get wrecked, scrub. <laughs> oh, mother of God. No, I'm kind of fearing, actually, when uh, Mothlon comes. All of these little scrubs can, like, bugger off, but... You know, Moth one I think might actually be kind of difficult. Anyways, uh, uh, Deadly Spheres. Be nice if we- No way! The first one we killed, we got a Deadly Sphere Staff! What? Holy crap! Okay, what about you? How about a Death Sickle? No? Ah, dang it. Well, my luck ends here, apparently. Hello! Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, go on then, get wrecked, all of you. 
Feel the wrath of my golem fist, scrub. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna poop on you. Yes, that is that is what is going to happen. Anyways, uh, let's get one of these bad boys in. In fact, I could probably get two of them in because I have this thing. Boom! Let's get two. Let's get two. All the damage is good damage. I am definitely a fan of all of this, my friends. Hell yeah. I'm feeling really good about this. I think it'd be cool to get a, uh, a reforge on it there. Maybe a little bit more damage. All that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, get wrecked. Scrub Lord. Right. I think... I don't know, man. I feel like I should be really quick to get a reforge in. Because I feel like my Tinkerer is going to die momentarily. Yeah. Huh? Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, I told you not to do it. I am telling you not to do it. And I... You know, you're just going to die if you keep doing it. Right. I'm going to be quick. Reforge. Ruthless. Fantastic. I'm going to take Ruthless any day. That is fantastic. Okay. More damage is good damage in my opinion. Hey, Budski. Hello. Oh, someone dropped something. So someone did drop something. Oh, they dropped the shell thing. Okay, cool. Hey, buddy. I'm going to kill you. And you're going to give me a nail gun, aren't you? Oh, look at this. He's just getting wrecked. Yeah, oh yeah, he was doing one damage to me. That is embarrassing, bro. That is legitimately embarrassing. I actually kind of feel sorry for you. <laughs> oh, this guy. These freaking dudes, man. These freaking dudes, I tell you, man. They freaking dumb. They freaking dumb. Hey, buddy. Come on. Yeah, everybody get killed. Oh, god damn it. Don't freaking kill my guys, okay? I need to reforge this thing. No. Uh, it's quick, but it's not what I need. Oh, I got a different one. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Sorry, I, I, I saw the... All of a sudden, I saw the weapon tooltips, and I was like, wait, did I get another one? Oh, Jesus! Okay, here he is. Like I said, this guy is actually going to be a bit of a challenge. But, uh... Ah, hello. How much health do you have in normal mode? I can't remember. Oh, the Dalek has been slain. The Doctor! Why? Why? And it wasn't even the Doctor that slayed him. That's really annoying. Hey, buddy. You're going to die. Come on. Oh, good lord above, there's a bunch of dudes. But they're not doing any damage, man. That's the funny thing about it. I'm getting hurt, but they're not doing any damage. <laughs> it's hilarious. Get off me. There we go. I have Cthulhu yo-yo. Ah, oh, no, I didn't get it. Dang it, man. That is the goal, okay? Those are the hashtag goals, okay? I want me one of those I have Cthulhu yo-yos, because it does, like, over 100 damage easily, even without the right setup. With the right setup, it does like 170 damage or something crazy like that. It really is kind of ridiculous, that weapon. It's amazing, though. I wouldn't swap it for the world. Hello. Hi. <laughs> These freaking dudes. Hey, we got an ice spring. Awesome. Unfortunately, I don't think that pet is as good as the turtle one that I've got right now. Nor do I think it's as rare. So, for those reasons alone, I think I'm going to stick with the seaweed. Is it, is it the seaweed? Yeah, seaweed. Sweet. Well, that means there's two seaweed items in the game, right? Interesting. Huh. You got seaweed which you get from fishing, and then the seaweed which you get from the jungle chests very, very rarely as a pet. Huh. Interesting. Hey, buds. Can you, like, stop, please? Be much appreciated. There we go. Ah! Ah! Okay. Oh, okay. Right. It's those, uh, it's those freaking... Hello. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Everybody get wrecked. Is those blooming uh, chainsaw dudes? They do a lot of damage, actually. I did notice my health getting reasonably low at one point. Huh. Alright. Come on, broski. Come on. Come on. More drops, please. More drops, please. Come on. Nail gun is what I'm after. If I can get the nail gun, I think we have Duke Fish one in the bag. So, yeah. And then e even if we fail that, I, I still think we could do something really good with the I have Cthulhu yo-yo. But I think I would prefer having the nail gun, honestly. So, yeah. Hello. Come on. Come on. <laughs> My freaking dudes are going to work. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Go on. Get off me. Dude, these guys are embarrassingly easy. They're not even putting any effort into it. Come on. Do something. Do something. <laughs> I say, I, I'm saying all this now, but I bet a lot of you guys are heading into the comments area and saying, Hey, Bothin, I bet if you were doing this in expert mode, you wouldn't be laughing so much. And to that I say, yeah, you're probably right. But, you know, just let, let me enjoy my ponage, okay? Let me just enjoy my ponage. Get wrecked. There we go. Another Neptune shell. In fact, I think that's the other thing I need, right? Is it the Neptune shell I need in order to make that celestial stone? I can't remember. But, you know, we'll see. 
Hello. <laughs> Get wrecked. Come on. We have about four and a half minutes of this side of Eclipse left, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we're just going to keep going. The Reapers are coming along. And I'll tell you something. They come along and they die just as quick. <laughs> Lol. Suck it. Hello. Get wrecked. Come on, man. Come on. All these blooming dudes, man. Oh, wait. I couldn't tell which one was the hostile one there for a minute. Oh, hey, buddy. Come on. We need more dudes, man. Where is everybody? There's like no one here. Oh, hello. And I say that, and then a freaking Moffat just shows up out of nowhere. Okay, this guy actually does do some damage. He doesn't just do one damage like a scrub lord like the rest of them do. Although this guy actually isn't doing a lot of damage because he's just, like, landing and trying to give birth to babies. Which, I gotta tell you, man, that's, that's just disgusting. I don't want that at all. Oh, oh, there's another one. Hey, hey, what the hell, man? There's a freaking goddamn thing all of a sudden. There's an invasion of mothworms. Wait. Oh, I thought I was two there for a minute. Jesus Christ. I was actually getting kind of nervous there. Hello. Come on, him. 3,000 health. He's absolutely nothing. I'll still take you down. 3, uh, 1,500 health, I think I saw. Hey, bub. Come on, just land. Whoa, 67 damage. Who the hell just did 67 damage to me? Bro. There we go. Get wrecked. Right, and I think there's another nail dude down here. Or was there? Oh, oh no. Did he despawn? Well, that's a shame. I would have preferred it if he didn't despawn, then I would have had a chance of getting me one of those beautiful nail gun things. Hello. Deciding to come back, are we? Come on then, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. 3,000 health. Already down half. All I gotta do now is just try to, like, stay here or something. There we go. If I could just, like, rapid fire him. Don't you dare hatch. Go on, get out of here. Hey, a broken hero sword. Sweet. If I can get myself another one, I've got myself a terror blade. Oh, an unpleasant staff. Yes, that's got more damage on it. Definitely. Awesome. Right, I'm going to resummon them to have the extra damage. Fantastic. Nice one. Okay, so I completely forgot about the terror blade, by the way. If I could actually get that from my very first solo clips, that would be absolutely amazing. I have about two minutes to try and get... Another broken hero sword. If RNG is on our side, we could maybe get it. But if not, then it just won't happen. And then we'll have to do it on another night and stuff. Or another day, sorry. Because obviously the solo eclipse runs during the day, believe it or not. And that's why it always seems like it lasts so long. Because daytime lasts for 15 minutes in-game. And in real life. So, yeah. Well, a Terraria day lasts 15 minutes in real life. That's what I meant to say. So, yeah. And also, I'm holding back hiccups real bad. Hey, buddy. Come on in. Come on in. Come on, all of you. There we go. And nothing. Nothing for the Pythonator. Oh, come on, man. Just one more broken hero sword, and then I can make a tarot blade. I mean, at the very least, I could make myself the true Excalibur or true Knight's Edge. Either or. I do believe that the true Excalibur is fully auto swing, and the true Knight's Edge is not. Which is why I normally favour the True Excalibur, but a lot of you guys, when I go ahead and do that, always say that I'm an idiot for not making the True Knight's Edge, so... Yes. Anyways, uh, where, the, where the devil is everybody? There's one person here. That's about it. What, no one else? Jeez, man. Come on. I need some more Mothrons, bro. I need some Mothron action in my life. Come on. I've got less than a minute to go, guys. Come on. Less than a minute. Come on, bro. Unbelievable. Are you really going to leave me hanging like this? You're going to leave me hanging like this? That would be unbelievably rude of you. Come on. RNG, please do bless me with epic luck and epic stuffs. It will be super appreciated. Nope. What about you? Nope. What about you? You going to drop your chainsaw? No, he's not. What about you, like? Are you going to drop anything? No. Hey, the reapers are what I'm looking for. How about a death sickle? Nope. Damn it, man. Come on, we've got about 20 seconds for another one to spawn in. Even then, I don't even know if they stay around when, you know, it's it's uh, technically night time. So, yeah. All right, guys. 10 seconds to go, and then we're pretty much done with this thing. Ah. Uh, nope. Nothing there. Eyesore. And there we have it, guys. That is the solar eclipse done. We've got one last chance of getting a death sickle. Nope. No bueno. And no bueno again. And, well, we got a Neptune shell. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess that's okay. But, yeah, look at this, guys. We got the broken hero sword. I'm feeling pretty good about that because what it means is I can whip out this bad boy and I can maketh the True Knight's Edge. 
look at this. We got a post 100 freaking sword. Look at that, man. I'm going to have that on me at all times now. The Excalibur, I'm afraid, is going to be retired. So, goodbye, dear sir. The Stinger... Uh, wait. The Stinger... Did I not reforge that? Wait, what's this one? Ruthless... Oh, okay. So, this one's ruthless. That's actually better. Uh, so, we've got the Stinger. Did we not... We reforged the wrong blooming thing, didn't we? That's what I did. I reforged the wrong thing, and now I've, I've paid the price with the Goblin Tinkerer's life. Well, I'm a terrible person now, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, always a nice thing to go with in terms of conscience. Uh, I'll tell you something. Right, uh, can I confirm? Is there a guide? No, he's still dead. I'm pretty sure he's been dead for most of the series now. So, that's great. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, we've done so good, but also so poorly at the same time. That's really annoying. Anyways, uh, where's our valuables? Uh, you can go in there. We don't need two golem fists. So I'm going to probably sell one of them. Uh, eight gold. I'm going to take it. I'm going to roll with it. We have 61 gold coins now, which is pretty nice. Let's go and favorite this. We're also going to favorite the stinger because I don't really want to be getting rid of it. Because I kind of want to use it. But, uh, yeah. Not done too bad. We managed to get some new drops, which is awesome. We got the True Knight's Edge, which is also very awesome. I'm actually really happy about that. But uh, in terms of progression, the next thing would probably be Duke Fish Run before taking down maybe the hard mode events, the Frost Moon and Pumpkin Moon, and then taking down Moon Lord. Wow. Oh, and Martian Madness. Oh, I forgot about Martian Madness. Yes, that would be a good thing to go for, wouldn't it? Yes. Alrighty, I'm going to leave that up to you guys in which case. What do you think we should do next in terms of progression? Do you think we should do the hard mode events, the frost moon or pumpkin moon? Or do you think we should go ahead and progress on with bosses and do Duke Fish one? Leave your responses in the comments area below. In fact, you know what I'm also going to do? I'm going to leave up a poll card on screen for you. Click on the poll, vote, and then we'll do whichever one is most popular by the time the next episode's recording comes around. But guys, I want to thank you for watching. We're going to end that one there. If you did enjoy this episode, please do be sure to head down below the video and drop a like rating. It'll be super appreciated. Hit that subscribe button, guys, if you do not want to miss out on future content. And that's going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate your continued support. We're still blooming alive, guys. I, I can't believe it either. <laughs> oh, man. Time for a cup of tea, I think. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.